Stable raw material sourcing has recently become a major concern in the rubber industry, especially with the uncertain outlook for the supply of polychloroprene, also known as CR. Many polychloroprene users are looking for alternatives that are made in the U.S. Xeon's Hydrin ECO polymers can help alleviate your polychloroprene supply concerns while also providing an upgrade in material performance. Hydrin polymers, also known as polyepichlorohydrin or ECO, are manufactured in Hattiesburg, Mississippi with reliable supply, available production capacity, and comparable cost. These synthetic elastomers have similar low temperature performance to CR, but have better resistance to high temperature, oil, fuel, flex cracking, and ozone. Hydrin elastomers can be vulcanized through several cure chemistries, including chlorine, sulfur, or peroxide, depending on the requirements of your application, such as dynamic flex life or low compression set. One main advantage when changing from polychloroprene to hydrin ECO is the significant increase in heat resistance. Rubber samples shown here have been aged for one week at high temperature. Polychloroprene rubber embrittles and cracks which can lead to failures of critical components over time. Hydrin ECO polymers do not embrittle and can withstand much higher temperatures for longer service life. Heat resistance isn't the only consideration for critical applications, however. Hydrocarbon resistance and low temperature flexibility are also very important. As you can see here, ECO is not only very resistant to test fuel C, which is similar to gasoline, but also shows excellent low temp flexibility due to the material's extremely low TG. The combination of these key properties explains why hydrin is considered to have the best balance of properties in high performance applications. Hydrin also provides additional benefits over polychloroprene, such as a dynamic flex life. When comparing the Dematia Flex Fatigue Cycles, Hydrin T3108 can achieve more than 1 million cycles without cracking. Even after aging the samples for one week at 125 degrees Celsius, Hydrin T3108 retains its superior flex life over CR. Hydrin is also an excellent fit for vibration isolation and damping applications. When comparing the tan delta dynamic response of CR versus hydrin across a wide temperature range, you can see that hydrin T3108 and CR have very similar damping and isolation performance. However, hydrin T3108 has a more stable damping response across a wider range into low temperatures, making it better in low temperature applications, and our recommended hydrin grade for these applications. High viscosity grades of hydrin are also available for oil extended rubber formulations where low compound cost is more important than performance. Hydrin T3000 has a Mooney of 80 to 94 and is a great choice for a general purpose ECO that can accommodate large amounts of filler and plasticizer, yet still remain workable. New Hydrin HT ECO T4000 extends the heat resistance range of standard ECO polymers up to the 125 to 150 degrees Celsius range or higher, depending on exposure times. The significant improvement in mill handling and processability allows users to easily mix and extrude the material into hoses without any issues of mill sticking or dye swell. The material is a great option to upgrade current ECO for tomorrow's increasing temperature requirements, provides a cost-down alternative to expensive materials such as AEM with similar performance, and lastly provides a material upgrade over low-performance materials such as NBR, CR, or CSM. In addition to heat resistance, the processability and mill handling of hydrin has been drastically improved with the new generation HTECO. A comparison was made using a cold mill and non-compounded polymer, meaning no fillers or process aids to show the differences. As you see, conventional ECO is slightly difficult to work on the mill, while the new T4000 HTECO is very smooth and easy to cross-cut with no sticking. This benefit also carries over into thin cross-section molding and forming processing, like extrusion of hoses or calendaring of rubber sheet. Typically, rubber compounds run through a thin nip calendar will pull apart and have holes and tearing, as well as have an orange peel texture. Hydrin HTECO polymers are easily calendared with a smooth surface, yet no sticking or pulling apart. Xeon's new HTECO materials are in stock for customer sampling and commercially available worldwide now. Hydrin may not be the perfect fit for all applications, so should be avoided in applications that require high dielectric strength such as wire and cable cover, or in applications with exposure to steam or coolant, as well as in brake or transmission fluids. The abrasion resistance of hydrin is moderate, but for applications requiring high abrasion resistance, Xeon's Nipolex NBR or Civic NBR PVC materials may be a better fit, 
especially if low temperature flexibility and high heat resistance are not needed. Hydrant ECO elastomers have been widely used for many years and are trusted in many demanding automotive and industrial applications, such as air and fuel hoses, belts, seals, dampers, and diaphragms. They are an excellent choice for a wide range of applications, especially those where CR is used. Xeon's newly developed Hydrant HT ECO grades are now also commercially available and provide increased long-term heat resistance to 140 degrees Celsius, plus dramatically improved processability for easy calendaring and extrusion processes. Hydrin polymers are supplied in a wide variety of grades to meet the needs of your rubber compound. From general purpose easy processing T4000, high viscosity T3000 for extended formulations, or T3108, which provides excellent dynamic flex fatigue, we have a grade of hydrin that can provide an excellent replacement for your polychloroprene material. Don't risk a gap in your raw material supply. Contact Xeon today to discuss your application and learn which hydrin grade will best fit your needs.